dieta van gonza in vetro che ti aggia nanambe andi a ziana danza tu ndonya kwazi wono muzio nundu nyina tiwe kana ka kona no niende na ukazube ina kana guka kona kono kenzube ya iyo kano ela nos ye steven ndiye wa we mukuo kwako na ndio nawe mukuo na ni gwandi enda gwane kutsobe ya siana ndiwa The name Twana Twito in uh, my ethnic language, which is Kikamba, means our children. Because I believe that all vulnerable children belong to all of us. It was just me in my village wanting to help a handful of children who at the time were hungry. And what happened was two grandmothers who had been left with a multitude of children uh, happened to come to receive this aid. And that was the first time, as much as I'd heard about HIV AIDS, that I became aware of the orphan issue. Before you know it, we had gone from supporting 11 children to 22 to 55, and uh, the rest is history. My granny, I don't know, I don't blame God, but sometimes I try to think why we were put to be in this place. We are by the places and throat stricken and also anger stricken because of most of the time we go the whole year without rains. But maybe God had a good purpose for us. Largely what happened is AIDS robbed us of our people at their most productive stage. We are at the homestead of Ngonza. She was one of the first people in this community that was left with uh, children orphaned by HIV AIDS. In fact, just outside this car, you can see um, graves. We bury our dead in our homesteads. So the children that live in this area are the children that have uh, been raised by Twana Twitu with Ngonza's support. Na wili na yezo zozo. Wili na wana tawe na mea kaya noy. No vitu kiti mea kaya na. Oh, nambe. Isa miwa kwa ili nambe. Awe tuwa ituwe kala mo na mo kawe. Uwe uwe. Una ke so wa. Una ke wa. Una ti wa no wa. E kandi se ya. We ge wa. Una me le si ya. Na una me ambo ya itu. Na nda kuadia. Wa ke lo. Na no sa. Gasseco. And what's the other way so much? From the onset, the caregivers were really the glue that put everything together. We have community volunteers who are so and working. We have uh, around 2,000 children we are serving. And we have uh, 606 caregivers. We go to visit those ones who have issues. There is staff we cannot make to visit all the children. So we use the volunteers to reach the children and also our caregivers. We get support from different places. It's not only from the donors, but individual. Somebody donates clothes, 
someone donates food, if it were not for this, most of the orphans could have died. Hey, hi Joel. Hi. Welcome to Anapisu. Thank you so much. With my own two hands, Foundation gives sustainable projects to existing projects in Africa. We are glad about this particular project because they are reaching out to the kids that are affected with HIV and AIDS. So to us, I think uh, it's a good reach. Being a semi-arid area means that these guys majorly don't depend on agriculture. And uh, we, we want to get rid of that notion. And once we provide them with water, we know now they'll be able to do some farming and grow food that we can consume locally and they can also sell surplus. That means we're going to improve on their nutrition and we're going to play a big part in that. So we are giving them water and we know water will be very uh, useful and very effective when it comes to, to farming. Our vision and that of With My Own Two Hands are very well intertwined. They're both geared at uplifting community. Poverty can be crippling, but it doesn't have to be debilitating as such. John was left by his mother when he was two weeks old. After the mother bore him, she became very sick because she had HIV, and then she died. Ngi <laughs> We need to improve this climate and change. And the only way to change it is to bring clean water. Most of the people depend on the water, which is in an open place. It's not even safe for taking. Here, even the cows and other animals, they just come to drink the water here. Yeah, this is not safe at all. It's not safe at all. But since they have no other option, they have to depend on it. It's too little for yeah. them to accommodate all the people. And like now you can see, people are just stepping on it, and they will go and take that water. If they can get somewhere where they can get a tap to water, they just open, we are going to protect them from the diseases. If we need water in this area, we can do wonders in this particular region. She's my sister, the one who took care of me. I'm proud today to call her my mom. I was still when my parents passed away. So I felt like the world has come to an end. At one point, I became a street boy for one week. Mm -hmm. 
Stephen, he had been left by his two parents through HIV and AIDS, and the community we live in, they were at that time they were the end very high stigma. HIV, there were many names for it uh, in Ukambani. We called it Murele, you know, it would, it would make you so thin, it would, it would finish you off. In fact, nobody who died in that period, I'd say till probably uh, the early 2000s, ever owned up and their families owned up to that person having died from HIV AIDS. Without nutrition, then poor, poor absorption of these drugs. And that will end up with poor adherence. Yeah, and obviously the viral load will go up. This patient will start getting opportunistic infection. Immunity is down. You get TB, you get the chronic diarrhea, that's it. HIV itself is both a cause and a consequence of poverty. From the beginning, we have always really gone out of our way to make sure that all our children who are positive receive not just the medication, but the food. And then we had to start thinking about the person who is taking care of these children. And we thought if we take better care of the homestead as a whole, we will have a healthier community. In 2002, we thought of opening an office and then we brought in some more stakeholders whom we can work with to support the children. We scaled, scaled up the number of children to 2,500, but due to lack of funding from the year 20, uh, 2016, we started scaling down because we did have enough funding to support the children. There's nothing more disheartening than giving a community hope and finding yourself in the position where you have to start withdrawing it. It's, uh, I actually lose a lot of sleep over it. It's very painful. I'll say the state they were in at, at the moment we came into this particular project, they were being abandoned by an organization that was helping them for us, we believe if we do them water, it will unlock a lot of things in this particular region. And then from there, we will want to, you know, take them to the next level. So, of course, we're going to provide them with also a greenhouse. And in that way, they will be able to participate in agriculture. Machine already here. Mm -hmm. And they have started drilling today morning. We up within uh, 48 hours we shall get the water because we can see the signs and we believe by the next one day we shall have water with us. I'm feeling so happy to see to have the water here. I'm starting now being more excited because I can see now we are going to get the water as soon as possible. The long-term objective here is of course to boost sustainability by gifting us with this borehole we will be able to generate some income. We will be able to spend less time sourcing for water. This is a project that can be practically replicated in many other areas and overall kind of heal some of the, the, the pains that our community goes through. Here is a situation whereby they're left kids. 
it's another level of love we've been shown that we need also to embrace. That you never give up. Even at old age, women can make change. The word strength defines the woman in Mwingi. To be a Mwingi woman means to delve deep down within and find strength that is almost superhuman. To be patient, to be loving, to be enduring, to be steadfast. <laughs> These grandmas stood the ground and did whatever they could do. I've witnessed out of these women's hands, these kids are going places. Nidio <laughs> Ruka mate dasia dasia nasito, sia naidi tisia kwa, na tisia ku ne tuana tuito. <tipos>